Governor Kathy Hochul, and Mayor Eric Adams of New York City have proposed a controversial measure to ban masks on the subway, driven by concerns that masks are being used to facilitate criminal activities. I see individuals on a subway being terrorized by individuals in masks. Uh, it's a cause for great concern. We have images of people with masks that almost cover up their entire face. It's impossible to find these perpetrators. Mayor Adams is supporting the governor's possible ban, calling people who wear masks to harass subway riders and commit crimes cowards. Oh, in our transit system, people have hid under the guise of wearing a mask for COVID to commit, commit criminal acts and vile acts. And I think now is the time to go back to the way it was pre COVID, where you should not be able to wear a mask at protests in our subway systems and other places. This proposal supports policies aimed at bolstering public safety, the strong emphasis on maintaining law and order. The mask ban is seen as a strategy to deter crime and aid law enforcement in identifying and apprehending offenders. Hochul's statements resonate with a broader conservative viewpoint that the safety and security of citizens should be paramount. Policies that might inadvertently enable criminal behavior need to be reevaluated. The proposal underscores the importance of personal responsibility and transparency. It criticizes those who exploit masks to commit crimes, reinforcing the belief that individuals should not hide behind anonymity, but rather be accountable for their actions. The call for unmasked participation in protests aligns with the conservative principle that one should stand openly for their beliefs and be responsible for their public actions.